you have players today, 21, 22, 23 years old, talking about Kobe. They weren't alive when he started in the league. <laughs> and they're talking about Kobe. Kobe Bryant, five-time NBA champ, two-time gold medalist, 18-time All-Star. They want his drive. They want to reach his level of success. So as long as there's that sport, Kobe Bryant's name will be mentioned. Aside from his athletic accolades, his most important title, husband and father. Now, more than two years after his tragic death, a legal win for his grieving family and for others who lost loved ones. A federal jury in Los Angeles ruling in favor of Vanessa Bryant's civil lawsuit against L.A. County, finding that first responders inappropriately shared graphic photographs of her husband and daughter at the scene of the crash. Bryant awarded $16 million in damages. Her co-plaintiff, Chris Chester, whose daughter Peyton played on Gianna's basketball team, also perished alongside her mother, awarded $15 million. This verdict for Vanessa Bryant means accountability. She moved forward with this lawsuit, even though the county offered to settle, and she wanted to be vindicated. And this verdict does, in fact, do that. Tonight, a look inside the trial, including her emotional testimony on the stand and the alarming details about exactly what happened that day. It was a Sunday morning. Witnesses say the L.A. fog was thick as milk. Kobe, his 13-year-old daughter Gianna, a few of her teammates, coaches, and parents were on their way to the girls' basketball game when their helicopter crashed. John, Carey, and Alyssa Altobelli, Sarah and Peyton Chester, and coach Christina Mauser all killed, as well as the pilot, Ara Zobayan. Matt Mauser spoke to ABC News. She really took a lot of, uh, of pride in being there for those girls, and she absolutely adored them. And uh, I was so proud of her. I, I said, Christina, you're doing something that, you know, no other person in the world is doing. You're coaching basketball with, with Kobe. And I'm so proud of you. I hope I said I love you. I hope I said I love you. I just don't know. The news of Kobe's death, stunning, leaving fans around the world devastated. The legend of Kobe Bryant began when he was just 17. It's important to remember that one of the reasons why Kobe Bryant is so loved in Los Angeles is because, believe it or not, we kind of viewed him as a child star. He talked to Barbara Walters about his decision to go pro. You were a very good student in high school, and you could have gone on to college, and you decided not to. Why did you pass on college? I just saw the NBA being such a challenge and such a thrill for myself, but at the same time, I could still play in the NBA, still get my education. How did you get your education? Summer school. Uh -huh. it, take, it takes a while. It takes a while. It's a longer, it's a longer process, but uh, if you can have the best of both worlds, why not? He dazzled fans in the NBA for 20 seasons, eventually retiring at the age of 37. When he hung up his sneakers, he leaned into riding, a boyhood passion. And of all things, Kobe! won an Oscar for his animated short, Dear Basketball. Natalia, Gianna, and Bianca, ti amo con tutto il mio cuore. You are my inspiration. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Academy Award winner, social justice warrior, successful entrepreneur, not to mention NBA Hall of Famer, but perhaps his greatest accomplishment, girl dad to his four daughters. As long as there are fathers of daughters, girl dad will be a hashtag that would matter and we'll think of Kobe. But it was his second born, known as Gigi, who inherited his love of basketball, something the proud dad often bragged about on Instagram. <laughs> and in interviews like his 2018 appearance on Jimmy Kimmel Live. Do you think your daughter might want to play in the WNBA? She does for sure. She does? I, I don't, it means this, this kid, man. She's Wouldn't like, that be great? Dude, man, I, I'm telling you, the, be, the, best thing, the best thing that happens is when we go out and, and, and fans will come up to me and she'll be standing next to me and they'll be like, hey, you got to have a boy. You and V got to have a boy, man. You have somebody carry on the tradition, the legacy. She's like, oh, yeah. I got this. <laughs> you know, for that. I got this. But that's right. Yes, you do. You got this. But Gianna would never be able to fulfill that legacy. The loss so unimaginable. Vanessa, who lost both her husband and her daughter that day, eulogizing them at a memorial service at the Staples Center. God knew they couldn't be on this earth without each other. He had to bring them home to heaven together. 
A little over a month after the tragedy, as the world continued to mourn, a disturbing report from the LA Times that the LA County Sheriff's deputies shared graphic photos of the helicopter crash that killed Kobe Bryant and eight others. After the leak, LA County Sheriff Alex Villanueva acknowledging at least eight deputies took or shared graphic photos, but insisted the agency made a thorough effort to make sure they weren't seen by the public. A citizen complaint alleged a deputy was showing the gruesome images at a Norwalk bar. Obviously, there is some legitimate reason for first responders to take photographs at a tragic accident scene. But to have those photographs shared uh, with people outside of the law enforcement agencies, to have actual first responders sharing them at a bar. I was also outraged and shocked by the conduct of these individuals who we place so much trust in. Those details would become part of Vanessa Bryant's lawsuit against the county, alleging officers abused their access to the crash site by taking and sharing gratuitous photos of her family's remains. The complaint also states that fire department officials were also involved in taking and sharing inappropriate photos from the scene. She filed a civil lawsuit alleging uh, violations of privacy rights under the 14th Amendment and she vowed to see this case through to its conclusion and to have the Los Angeles Sheriff's Department and Fire Department held accountable. The county's defense was, look, this is a case about pictures where there is no picture. Uh, they essentially said all of the plaintiff's case is speculation because none of the pictures have actually emerged on the internet. Chester also filing a lawsuit against the county, a judge combining his case with Bryant's before heading to trial earlier this month. The entire trial was about grief compounded on grief. A lot of emotion, a lot of crying at the plaintiff's table, and a lot of really, really compelling, gripping testimony. On Friday, Bryant herself took the stand. Tearful, she described how she still suffers from anxiety and panic attacks, saying, I live in fear every day. I don't want my children to ever come across them. The constant fears, as I think Mrs. Bryant's lawyers said it best, every day, she fears that she'll see the photos or someday she will see the photos. And it's easy for some people to say, well, it's they haven't shown up, so they never will. Uh, that doesn't work. Jerry Jackson represents Vanessa's co-plaintiff, Chris Chester. I want to read a part of the defendant's trial brief to you. Plaintiff's fear stems from their imagination about what the photos might look like if they ever appeared. But it has been over two and a half years and no county photos have ever been leaked. What are your thoughts on that line of argument? Well, that's an easy argument to make when you don't know how many photos were taken. There's nothing imaginary about the fear. So in your mind, this is not a figment of your client's imagination? Clearly not. The trial lasted 11 days, but it only took the jury four and a half hours to reach a verdict in Bryant and Chester's favor. Vanessa speaking out about the $31 million ruling, posting on Instagram, justice for Kobe and Gigi. This is clearly a, an act of justice for your client as well. What, if any, sort of healing might this verdict provide for your client and, and his family? Juju, I don't know the answer to that. We're all taught growing up that time heals all wounds. I hope that's true. I know it heals a lot of them, maybe most of them, particularly in this case for both my client and for Mrs. Bryant. As long as they can't account for all of those photos, I'm not sure that they'll ever be total healing. And that's why the jury's verdict is so appropriate. The lead counsel for L.A. County putting out this statement. We are grateful for the jury's hard work in this case. While we disagree with the jury's findings as to the county's liability, we believe the monetary award shows that jurors didn't believe the evidence supported the plaintiff's request of $75 million for emotional distress. We will be discussing next steps with our client. Meanwhile, we hope the Bryant and Chester families continue to heal from their tragic loss. The verdict came on the same day the city continues to remember Kobe Bryant. Kobe Day uh, really started first because Kobe changed his number. It started out at 8, and then he went to 24. 8 24, August 24th. And it's the day after his birthday. Again, I don't think he planned it that way, but <laughs> it's kind of a perfect bookend, you know, to, for the city to be able to mourn him going forward. Not far from the courthouse, a newly painted mural showing the star next to a black mamba, his daughter Gigi, playing basketball.
It brought a smile to my face as soon as I saw it. I, I, I just, I just lit up. And when you start thinking about all the things he accomplished on the basketball court, in the business world, and then his philanthropy, and then creatively, that just speaks to just how big of a personality, as well as how curious he was, and just how awesome of a human being he was, to be quite honest with you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.